All right, in this video, I'm going to graph uh, a basic rational function. And the idea is um, the graph of 1 over x is the graph here in the red. And it's got a horizontal asymptote of y equals 0, or equivalently the y-axis, excuse me, the x-axis. It has a, a vertical asymptote of uh, x equals 0, which is the y-axis. Okay, and then it's kind of sandwiched in, you know, the bottom left corner and the upper right corner. So I'm going to use some of our sort of reflections and shifting to help us get some new graphs here. So suppose we want to graph negative 1 over x plus 3. Well, the negative 1 over x, all that does is, remember, it's just going to take our graph and reflect it about the x-axis. So the part that had been in the top right will now be in the, in the, uh, the bottom right. And then the part that had been in the bottom left will now go up in the top left. So this would be my graph of f of x equals negative 1 over x. Again, the uh, horizontal asymptote is still at the same place, and the vertical asymptote is still at the same place. Remember, if we add 3 to a function, though, all that does is it just, I always just imagine if the graph, you know, the x and y axis couldn't move, but everything else was rigid, I just move it up 3 units. So this uh, horizontal asymptote that had been at y equals uh, 0 will now be moved up here to, to y equals 3. Okay, and let's see, a couple things here. Um, the, the vertical asymptote is still in the same place. So let's see, this is still our x-axis and our uh, y-axis. Now, the, the portion that had been in the, uh, the, the, the bottom right is going to get moved up a little bit. The portion that had been in the bottom, or excuse me, the, the top left will get moved up. So I'm going to move that part right up here. And I know this part's also going to get shifted up, so it's going to... It's basically going to look like that. We could even find out this x-intercept if we wanted to. Um, we could find out the coordinates because, again, to find x-intercepts, we just plug in 0 for f of x. So we would get 0 equals negative 1 over x plus 3. We could add 1 over x to both sides. I'm going to write 3 as 3 over 1. If we cross multiply, we would get 3x equals 1 or x equals 1 third. So it's actually crossing the x-axis here at this point um, uh, at, at the x-coordinate of one-third. And now we've got our basic graph. Just, again, kind of reflect it, the 1 over x graph, and move it up. So, um, you know, again, you could always plot points, plot points, plot points, and get this general shape. But this basic graph, 1 over x, is a useful graph to know so that you can kind of do all these shifting and uh, 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 moving around of it to help you get new graphs.